the Aalberg today. We had a new arrival last night, a guy I've never met before. He's uh, a quarter my age, pretty much exactly. That makes him 10. He's from Australia, a guy called Valentino. He's here with his dad. And he's riding with Torge, a Norwegian guy today, who I've filmed before in uh, the Stubai video. And so we're here in Aalberg, we're hiking up. It's showing this kid the backcountry a little bit. He's young, we <clears throat> had to get him a backpack with all the avalanche gear and everything, but um, he's super keen. It's a name you gotta keep remembering because he's doing double flips and all sorts of things and he rides pipe and he races and he does slalom and getting good board control and I'm um, really hyped to see how he does today. I think he's, he's really enthusiastic. He's got a good style as a, as a kid, you know? I don't really know snowboarding yet, but we're gonna see that. And, um, Hopefully him and Torgair will have some fun together. We'll just build some little trannies and hand plant stuff and probably nothing too major Yee! today, but everyone just have a bit of fun. What? That was so bad. <laughs> oh, it's all good. What went wrong that last time? I just went along it perfect. And then I didn't know where to go, so I just dropped off and it was too early. <coughs> and then what happened? Then I yelled and got angry as hell. And then what happened? And then I walked up and told you this story. And then what's going to happen? And then I, I don't know. You're going to do it again properly? Yes. All right. Maybe. <laughs> you see, when you come down there, right? You see the line, you're going to see the line going like this. You know, you're going to be like this. You're going to see the line go like that. If you just follow that all the way, you can just drop off the end of it. Yeah. Instead of going like into the, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye Blackie. Don't mess it up. You're a bully, people? Uh, no, I'm not a bully. That's good. I'm just more rough. The only bully at my school is a girl, so I'm not allowed to hit her back. You know? Yeah, she was bullying me like all year, this year, and now she wants to be my bloody girlfriend. Yeah. I wouldn't stand for it if I was you. Yeah. But I'm not allowed to hurt girls, so. There when you just like, <laughs> that six things here, like if you want to you can go a little bit more to the right. Because yeah. that's a big open field there. Do you reckon I'll go like really big up if I start from here or no, no. that's fine. I get like it depends on how big you want to go. So what, your gloves are wet? They're not wet, my fingers are just cold. Oh. Yeah. Eww. So what's going on? Uh, we just uh, finished a day up here in uh, Alberg shooting in Valentino. You're pretty good. Now the weather's rolling in, so we have to go. And that's it for the day. Clouds rolled in behind. It's supposed to snow a lot tonight, but sort of maybe rain tomorrow, so it might be rubbish. It was very, very windy today, so we didn't go up the mountain. It would have been just pointless. So now I'm just outside the, the house, getting a few lifestyle shots with Valentino. Him and Rick, his father, are leaving tomorrow, going to another resort. Um, I might catch up with them there in a few days, but until then, I'm just trying yeah. to wrap this little trip up, get some lifestyle shots with some me. new product. Um, it's pretty snowy now, so we're gonna 
try and get a few little shots here. Yeah, right against the wood. How long were you here for, Valentina, in Aalberg? Five days, I think. You did tour gear show you a lot of stuff? Tell me about that. Yeah, tour gear showed me heaps of stuff. What did you think of his skills in the backcountry? Were you impressed with his tricks? Yeah, he was really good in the backcountry. He could do everything. So what do you see yourself doing in the next couple of weeks? Uh, riding Piper Larks to get ready to do a new jam for the US Open. Oh, sweet. What do you think your chances are at that comp? I don't know. I think I've got a pretty good chance. Like, what are your goals for the next five years? I know it'd be, it'd be amazing. Do some sick stuff, win some sick comps. I'm Valentino Gazelli, I'm 10 years old and I'm from Australia. Uh, what settings I use? That has actually been the most common question so far on the, the comments and Facebook messages and things I've received. So this video I thought I'd share them with you. Personally I don't really take too much notice of the settings as I'm shooting. I guess that comes more down to the experience I have. I sort of just know if I want to have a shallow depth of field or a, a big depth of field where you can see detail in the distance. I just know instinctively what settings I'm going to need. I hope this brings something. Let me know in the comments if that's what you meant and if it helped out and um, I can do it again. Maybe it'll be a thing I do more often. You don't reckon? You're confident? Yeah. Hold on. All right. Crazy landing. <laughs>